What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are going to be jumping in with some mono red again just to give it another shot. We did not do so well last week, but hey, it was fun. We're going to try it. Uh, before we jump into the gameplay though, I just want to mention uh, our unsanctioned giveaway just ended today. Uh, so thank you to everybody that entered. This was not one of our bigger giveaways by any means, though we didn't expect it to be. Uh, that being said, we did have a lot of great responses and great comments, so thank you very much. And our winner is officially Steven Kaiser. Uh, we've already messaged you, Steven, but thank you very much for entering, and uh, congratulations on the win. So um, stay tuned. Uh, as far as giveaways go, we do those very, very regularly. In fact, I, I would argue to say probably about once a month. Uh, and definitely with every new set release, we do a pretty big one. So uh, if you're interested, just stay subscribed. You'll get notifications and you'll see all the, the information come out about it. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's all I've got to say about that. So thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump into some standard games. Uh, as always, we're going to try and run through about three games uh, and just see how it goes. I didn't have a lot of good luck with Mono Red, I'll be honest. Uh, I know it's great for ladder grinding just because they're quick games usually, and it's either a, you're very confident winning or probably not very confident at all. Um, this is a very bad starting hand, so we definitely mulligan that. This is much better. Much, much better. Uh, we have an easy one, two, three. I think we get rid of the Infuriate. Uh, as sad as that is, because that is a very powerful card. In this deck, specifically. Against Azorius Control, most likely. Always hate to see Azorius Control, but it is what it is. Very powerful deck, for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, hopefully you guys had a fantastic weekend. I know we were a bit sparse. Uh, we didn't, I don't think, no, we did release a podcast episode. I'm sorry. I uh, completely forgot about that. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't do much else. Um, uh, let's run away Steamken here. Um, most likely, I mean, their big game is to sweep our board, so we got to get the big stuff down as we can. And then, oh, interesting. Daxos. Okay. Well. I guess in that case, let's play out this with the intent to infuriate uh, and then light up the stage. Don't know how correct this is, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot. Yeah, we're going to infuriate. Get rid of Daxos. Daxos is a very big problem card against a mono red deck, obviously. Uh, just being able to um, spit out a bunch of life. I kind of think, nah. Let's go ahead and do this. Auto pay, that's fine. All right. Let's hope they don't have a shatter. Uh, if they're running Daxos, that's kind of why I'm okay with overcommitting a little bit. It doesn't seem like they would run uh, a Shatter of the Sky. I, I could be very wrong. I, I don't know. Deputy Detention on Anax, sure. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this out. And I think we'll make this unblockable. We will not attack with the champion. Just trying to get in as much damage as possible um, without losing too much of our stuff. Oh, we do lose the Scorch Spitter. I think it was worth it there, though. Another deputy. Are they going to get Phoenix or are they going to get Runaway Steamkin? Either one's pretty solid. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're just looking for things we can play. That is literally it. Um, no blocks. Interesting. Uh, Heartfire. I do love Heartfire. Let's do this. Perfect. This may be bad. We're going to try it. Oops. Nope. Target them. Sacrifice this. Hope they don't have a counter. Okay. I do like the Heartfire there. Uh, that turned out to be pretty great. So well done uh, Heartfire there, but in particular just Mono Red. That was a really sweet game. Um, don't know exactly what they were doing. Like creature control? Um, I mean, detention 
uh, whatever is pretty sweet. Uh, Daxos is really sweet, but like I've not I've not seen too many decks run those two uh, recently. We'll say. Uh, so, well done though. A good showing and a good start for mono red. I like it. Um, also, guys, I'm really excited about a little mini project that I'm doing. So, uh, Will and I have been talking, and with the move over... Oh, goodness. We can't keep this, right? We're tripled up on Annex. We, we cannot keep that. Uh, this we can keep. And again, I think the Infuriate is the one to get rid of. Um, so, a little mini project. It's kind of a short film idea that we've had. Uh that I, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, we may release a little bit of a teaser on it. I've been working on it a bit this morning. And I'm really, really excited about it. It's a really, like, it's on a whole other level in comparison to the things that we've done in the past, is what I will say. Uh, it is a short film. It's very um, kind of ethereal feeling in my mind. Um, and so there's a lot more depth to it and a lot more... Uh, cinematography kind of things to it there's there's just more interesting stuff going on um hopefully you guys are interested in stuff like that i think it'll be a good test uh of that kind of content uh which is something that ideally was uh, i mean i love the film or the the film side of it and the tech side of it and that kind of thing will is very much the actor uh he in fact is a trained actor so that's no surprise um, but I very much enjoy kind of the, the cinematography side. How can you get the best shots? How can you color grade correctly? Like all of those kinds of things I really, really enjoy. Uh, and so we're, we're trying to find a way to kind of meld those two together that centers around something it resolves can actually get behind. Uh, in this case, obviously magic content. Um, unfortunately when you brand yourself as a magic channel, you are now a magic channel. You can't do too much else about it. So uh, not that that's a bad thing, but that's certainly, um, you know, the case as it is now. So uh, we are excited about that, though. We do think that it could be a really, really fun project. Uh, and I've gone ahead and gotten a few shots, like I said. So hopefully we can get something out for you guys uh, with that very soon. I don't know how long it's going to take. We basically just have like an intro sequence taken care of at this point. Um, but that being said, it's, I think, very, very nicely done, and um, I'm sure we'll fine-tune as we get through it. So uh, if we do, if you do see a teaser up on any of our social media stuff uh, or even our YouTube channel, please uh, keep a lookout for that. It's definitely something that we're considering uh, to get out there. So um, working on the script actually a little bit uh, just before the video and a couple of the shots. Uh, so very, very exciting. Um, Bouncing the Scorch Spitter, sure. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Um, I think this is the better play. No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's Phoenix. We're just trying to get as much damage as, at damage as possible considering we have the... Uh, the heart fire in hand and I don't actually think we care about Teferi that much I think we're just trying to get him down to four and then hope we get there with heart fire um, hopefully they don't have too much in the way of life gain stuff but we'll see they could easily shatter at instant speed here though that's the danger I suppose um, but thankfully Phoenix obviously replayable long term uh, and we have a second Phoenix in hand we did lose the annex, of course, to the uh, light of the stage, but again, I think that's fine. I think we just kind of want to get them as quickly as possible here. Perfect. So I think we got this. Heartfire really coming in handy. Um, do this. Yep. Let's heartfire. Man. Heartfire doing the most. <laughs> Coming in clutch with this mono red deck. I like it. Um, very worth considering. So I, I didn't do a deck tech because we've already done one for this deck. Uh, if you're interested in looking at it, check out the first mono red uh, video that we posted. But uh, really sweet Heartfire. Uh, I don't know if it's worth putting multiples in. It seems like it kind of is against all of these like Azorius control decks. 
they you leave up a couple mana usually you don't have the, a couple mana to leave up in the early game but uh it does give you kind of an out against just straight up attacking uh and so i'm, I'm kind of in for it not a super quick start but we do have robber of the rich and runaway steamkin i think we're gonna try it um would love to have a one drop of course but uh unfortunately we do not okay well, we do now have a target for shock, so that's good. Um, yeah, I think that's what we end up doing, right? Elemental stack. Interesting. So here, because they played uh, the Leafkin Druid, I'm going to do the Runaway Steamkin. Uh, normally I would go Robber of the Rich first, but obviously can't get through for a lot of damage, so not a huge point in doing so. Um, they did not play a land. So I'm going to play this. Do they have a response? Are they just going to put a... Well, they can't, can they? No. Yep, okay. And then I'm going to swing in and see if they block. Great. If they don't, also kind of great. Yeah, we'll just do this. It doesn't matter too much. Do they have an answer? For two mana? Okay, sure. So they can blast soon, that's fine. Okay, they just gave up. Uh, I guess that was an easy 3-0. Um, cool, that works for me. Uh, we 3 0 again with Mono Red, or excuse me, we 3 0 for the first time with Mono Red. We did 3 0 uh, with the Abzan Enchantments deck as well, which was really sweet. I might play that deck again just because it's so much fun. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this relatively quick video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, again, stay on, stay on the lookout uh, for some short film ideas and things like that that Will and I are kind of cooking up for this year. We are very excited about it. Uh, as well, again, thank you to everybody who entered the giveaway, and especially Steven Kaiser. Congratulations to you, my friend. Uh, if you are following us on Instagram or anything like that, we did post there as well. So thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next gameplay video.